people come into my office all the time and they say, we need a trust. And I ask them, what kind of trust do you need? And then they usually look at me like the dog that hears a funny voice and they go, all right. So different trusts do different things. What is your goal? What are, what is your motivation? What are we trying to accomplish? And that usually is a, the beginning of a really good conversation on what type of trust is good for us. So there are revocable trust. About 98% of all trusts in the country are revocable. They're great for probate avoidance and asset distribution and estate administration at the time of your death, but they totally suck for asset protection. They give you zero. And many people have a misconception that all trusts are asset protection trusts. Indeed, they are not. In fact, most of them are not asset protection. They are probate avoidance. Although both of those are good goals, they do different things and we need different types of trusts. So revocable trusts, probate avoidance, not asset protection. Asset protection trusts typically come in the flavor of irrevocable. Well, what's the difference between revocable and irrevocable? Revocable, you can amend, modify, change, revoke at any time during your life. Irrevocables are a little more stringent. You cannot change the terms of the trust during your life. You can't change beneficiaries. Now, being a good lawyer, we always have ways to accomplish those things. So if we need to change beneficiaries, we can use something called a testamentary power of appointment. We can get that done. If you need to change uh, trustees, we can have some um, powers of appointment that allow us to change the trustees. So we can get those things done in a roundabout way. But generally speaking, on day one, an irrevocable trust can't be modified, changed, or amended, or revoked. And so those are good for asset protection. They're good for Medicaid. We offer something called a Medicaid Asset Protection Trust, or a MAPT. We also offer a trust for veterans or widows of veterans to shelter assets, and that is called a Veterans Asset Protection Trust, or a VAPT. So we have MAPS and VAPS. Both of those work very well for allowing someone to have excess assets over the threshold or the cap for either Medicaid or VA benefits. We can take assets, put it into this trust, let it marinate for some period of time, typically for VA three years, for Medicaid five years. And then after that magic time of three or five years, for that respective benefit, the VA or Medicaid cannot count the money in that trust as an available asset that they would ask you to spend down on your own care before they step in to help you. So those are MAPS and VAPS types of irrevocable trust. We have other irrevocable trusts that are purely asset protection trusts. We offer Florida Irrevocable Asset Protection Trust. We offer trusts out of the state of Nevada called a DAPT or a Domestic Asset Protection Trust using the laws out of Nevada that can be applied to non-Nevada residents. So we have those trusts. We even have offshore trusts. If you want to get really fancy, not for everybody, but it's really cool. We can create a trust in the Cook Islands out in the South Pacific. The trustee of your Cook Islands Trust is a uh, trust or is a, um, I'm sorry, a LLC out of the Bahamas, typically Nevis. And then for the bank account, we go all the way back to Europe, to Switzerland, and we have a Swiss bank account. So we have three ju different jurisdictions. We can take your money, put it there. And if you get sued, it is outside of U.S. jurisdiction and there's no judge in the country that can force the Cook Islands to hand over money that's controlled by an LLC in Nevis, and then the bank account is in Switzerland, those things typically never get pierced by creditors. So those are few and far between. Unless your millions have millions, you probably aren't going to be interested in one of the offshore offerings, but we can do onshore domestic, we can do right here in Florida. All of those are great for asset protection. We also offer something in-house that I have created personally we have a federal trademark on the Hyena Trust. The Hyena Trust doesn't offer you asset protection. It offers your children or your beneficiaries asset protection. So years after you or your spouse or both of you have passed away, the money that is left to your beneficiaries, typically children, if they get sued or they get divorced, those trusts are very good at preventing their inheritance from going bye-bye to future ex-spouses or creditors. So lots of different trusts, they do different things. If your attorney is not 
taking the time to go over all of these options, not just on the high level like we've done today, but seriously in depth to make sure that the type of trust they will propose to you exactly meets your needs and expectations, then quite honestly, they're probably not a great lawyer and they're not doing you a service. They are probably have their cookie cutter trusts and they just want to wash, rinse, repeat. And everybody that comes in the door gets the same trust. They charge the same amount and they move to the next person. It's a volume business. You should not be in a volume law firm. You should be in a boutique law firm that knows you, your family, and cares about you on an individual basis and make sure that they give you guidance and give you product in the form of legal documents that are specifically tailored to your situation, your family, and your family dynamics because everybody is different. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to follow us on our social media platforms. Check our website out. There's lots of good information and videos on our website. And if you ever have a question, you're welcome to come in uh, in person, virtually through Zoom, phone call, you name it. I love educating people one-on-one -on -one because it gives us the opportunity to really dig down into your assets, your details, your family dynamics, and we can propose a solution that is right for you. Consultations are always free, so I welcome the opportunity to meet with you and give you um, my take on what you should do for you and your family to accomplish your needs and goals. So thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day.